Hi, I'm Tom Neckfell, and I'm here to show you how to adjust the head for different tones and different tone components in your Neckfell banjo. So I'm going to take the head and uh, crank it up a little bit for a bluegrass song. Um, that was a nice mellow tone for a waltz. I think I'm going to uh, spark this banjo up a little bit with a little snugger head. Now with the Gila Mount banjo, we're going to actually lift the surface of the head somewhat. And so you'll be raising the action slightly as we tighten the head. It's good to keep that in mind. But I'll show you what I mean. Let me take the resonator off and I put two screws in for convenience. Normally there's four thumb screws. Now I'm going to turn the banjo over on the table and show you the inside of the Gila mount. Here is the wrenches that come with the banjo. Any two of the six holes will do. I'm going to give you a hint uh, before I even start. A new product we have is Gila mount grease and it's good for the threads of the neck fill banjo. If you take it completely apart like I'll do later, I'll show you how to use the grease inside. But just for a preview on the usefulness of this grease, I'll put a little bit on the tips of these wrenches and then it'll help uh, it'll help us in the uh, tightening and loosening of the head. Now before I go any farther, I want to do something. What if I like that tone and I want to save that position? Let me put a little piece of tape right where we started. Okay, a little arrow piece of tape. Now I'm gonna go in a direction that seems the wrong way, but notice I'm turning the wrenches counterclockwise and the whole banjo is turning clockwise. This is a cyclotronic rim system. There's ball bearings underneath the rim, between the rim and the tone ring in here. You can't see them, but they're in there. Now, a couple more cranks. When it gets tight, it's uh, normal that it should offer some resistance when you get up to bluegrass tension. You can use different holes, doesn't matter which ones, but sometimes a small crank in this hole and then a small crank in the next hole and perhaps uh, go back to the original hole and keep that process up until it's as snug as you feel is ready for a, uh, an experiment. So uh, one more for good measure so you can t actually tell the difference in tone. Bear in mind that it's going to be sharp uh, or somewhat um, out of tune as we, uh, as we put it back. I could keep going. I could make it sound extremely bright and tight, but of course uh, my action might get a little too high to play, in which case uh, you can watch another video on angling the neck so, uh, so that you can achieve different heights and low action with even a very tight head and a tall bridge. So uh, we'll get more into that after a little while, but first I'll put this back together and tune it back up to the standard pitch of G. And uh, I want to show you the tuner I'm using is the IMT500. And there's a little TV screen on there that gives me the, uh, the tuning. I think uh, I'm going to be sharp. It's a G sharp. I'm going to tune it down. And I don't spend too much time getting each string perfect. I want to get it roughly in tune first. And then I'll go back and do it again. I call it two-stage tuning. That one just happens to be right on. Just a, a clue on tuning. If you're dropping all of your strings, you may want to drop the first one a little bit more than you'd really normally tune it because when you drop the next strings the tension on the bridge is going to lift up that first string a little bit because you're relaxing the tension on the other strings and that'll cause the head to push up and it'll make that first string that you just loosened even tighter and so uh, you can anticipate that as you 
as you uh, tune the strings, and it makes for a little bit of, uh, of time saving in tuning. Let's try this. I can tell the difference already. Yeah, so the mistakes weren't the banjo's fault. Uh, that was uh, lack of practice. Now here's, uh, here's the uh, Neckville Neckstar set up for bluegrass, and uh, I'm going to show you next uh, how to change the head. 